go on its grace. Uh, the world might be ending, but that doesn't mean we can't get better at Irish dancing. That's a bird. You stick your leg up, you tuck that leg in, you land on the leg you tucked. This is what it looks like on left foot. Pretty simple. So the main goal of a bird, the first thing a judge sees when you go out or any person sees when they're watching you dance is this line. So in class we talk about a line from the top of your hip all the way through your toe, down the floor, out the room, out the building, into the unknown, you know? This foot, has the job of coming up and curling a lot. A lot of dancers go one, two, switch, and up, down, not too pretty. Another thing that people do with this tuck leg is they go one, two, switch, and up and down, and bring it up here. But what you really wanna do is aim all the way up to your ponytail. So, birds. I am going into this thinking Long line, jumping off of my big toe, tucking up and not forward, and keeping a line as I land. So here it goes. Let's try that again. My back foot wasn't that great. I'm gonna try that again. My arms weren't that great. <laughs> See how I'm stopping myself? This is what you need to do with yourself. Be completely cognizant of what your body's doing. I could feel my shoulder roll forward then. So I'm gonna try it again. All right, that was pretty good. I could feel my toes curl. I could feel my feet curling off of the ground. You always wanna feel that as you go off. If you can't feel your toes rolling forward and then jumping off and curling, then you're not doing it. Okay, so a leap over by contrast. You just kick your leg out, it's not that different. <laughs> so this is a leap. There's two kind of schools of thought for leap overs. You can do a, like a holding leap where the kick out leg is not the point and that kind of just like kicks out in a line but it's not like, or whatever. You uh, really just want the leap to be the main focal point. One, two, switch it, up and down. Really floaty, really athletic. The other school of thought is making it flowy and not floaty. So it's less of a this, this, and more of a constant up and out. So, it's kind of hard to do the the like the the actual leap one in this small space, but I'm gonna try. Um, maybe I'll start off off screen. I'm scared. Do you hear my hip crack? Could you even see that? Also, I did a big kick out. I'm just used to doing a big kick out, but that was mostly it. So uh, you want your back leg, the tuck leg, and the line to hit at the same time, and then you wanna clench everything so you get that <clears throat> What else is there? Well, there's so much to leaves. There's so much. I love leaves. Oh, if you have a run going into it, you don't want to go into the run and go one, two, switch in, and down, one, two, switch in, and down. Because what's that? What that's gonna do is gonna completely stop your momentum, dead in your tracks. Instead of going one, two, switch, step up and down, and like moving faster as you go. One, two, that's what gets you started. Switch step, switch jump. It's not a switch step. One, two, switch, jump up and down. Does this, <laughs> this doesn't look like an Irish dancer. Oh 
my god. I really hope that we're able to go back to the studio soon. This is, this is hard. But I love you all and I hope you're doing well.